I want to pay my respects to the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, on whose land we Oh, for the love of God! Who wears the bloody remote? Look at this little fella here. Oh, that's more like it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 20th Logie Award winning episode of... <laughs> Dickhead of the Week! I don't know about you, but I'm rooting for the buffalo! You've got this sort of hopeful tone about you. We've got a lot to get on with. Alrighty! <laughs> Let's get stuck in to this parade of parasitical <laughs> dog poo! Hey everyone. You're not an intellectual. You're a fake of fraud. <laughs> What's this? A lifeless reptile doing back in the news. <laughs> Lawyers for Bruce Lerriman have accused former Liberal staffer Brittany Higgins of fabricating her rape allegation. Well, look at what we have here. All right, so this is the other issue that's a subject of controversy. It's Finance Minister Katie Gallagher's department's decision to settle a compensation payment with Brittany Higgins for two to three million dollars. No shit. Oh, there's nothing to see here. We just use Brittany Higgins to get back at ScoMo to make him look like a complete arsehole just before the election. And it worked. How dare you? He's always told by one of your senators two weeks before um, about what you were intending to do uh, with the story in my office two weeks before. Oh, I had no knowledge of this. No one had any knowledge. Okay. I had no we knowledge were one of this. How dare you? Order. Now we will it's all move. about we protecting will yourself. We may yes. <laughs> there is not enough makeup in the world to hide the reptile that lurks beneath. Logie goes to the Brittany Higgins interview, the project. In this interview and in this story. <laughs> Silence! If we've all had a gutful of this pirate rooting pain in the ass. <laughs> now hand back your Logie, shut the hell up and sit your ass down! We can now show you exclusive excerpts from her pre-recorded acceptance speech. I speak to you today armed with the knowledge that I stand on the shoulders of giants. Oh, put a suck in it, love, and stop reading off the teleprompter! <laughs> we all know it was this piece of human garbage that was putting words in your mouth! My voice has only been heard as a result of the people- <laughs> Silence! Now when you and your man boobed boyfriend get back from your holiday, you can give the taxpayer back their three million bucks! Oh, what's going on here? Our country's heading for a recession! And Mr. Magoo is frolicking around Vietnam! He must be the hardest working Prime Minister we've ever had! I was so great to be here in Vietnam. There's too many problems back at home that I had no idea how to fix. I'm already booking my next holiday. And I promise, I promise. Pay for electricity. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? The most expensive form of energy, and the slowest to roll out, uh, nuclear. You stupid, ignorant son of a bitch, dumb bastard! You know, the only thing small about a small modular reactor is the output. Nothing small about the cost. Jesus Christ, I met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all! You know, the only thing small about a small modular reactor... <laughs> the only thing that's small is your brain! <laughs> Nobody's swallowing in this renewable <laughs> EV solar bullshit garbage that you're trying to peddle. <laughs> Even this lifeless corpse it knows that you're full of it. No! <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? I thought there was a war going on. <laughs> What in God's name is Orlando Gloom doing in the Ukraine? 
So encouraging. Yeah. I mean, in so many ways to see just the remarkably stoic nature of the people of Ukraine. And of course, your messaging that I think is reflected in their courage. <laughs> oh, shut up, dickhead! Just give him a suitcase full of money and piss the hell off! <laughs> in God's name, he's stupid enough <laughs> to fall for this <laughs> charade! Oh, look over here! Another diversion! Better send <laughs> some more money! Incredible. <laughs> From one crooked <laughs> West puppet to another! <laughs> Let's see what this de-knackered and nutless eunuch <laughs> has to say! Obviously, uh, Canada is concerned about some of the uh, some of the positionings uh, that uh, Italy is taking in terms of the LGBT rights. <laughs> no, they're not. Only sniveling little de-knackered fart asses like you and try to shove this woke garbage down everybody's throats. <laughs> and by the way, Justine, only an asshole who would wear a pair of socks like those. <laughs> the Italian Prime Minister is thinking, get me the hell away from this virtue signalling, he crumpet sniffing pain in the ass. I will never apologize for standing up for an LGDP, uh, LGT, LBT, LGBTQ2 plus. Oh, give it away, sunshine, and pull your knackers out of your ass. <laughs> For the love of God! <laughs> What's this stinking, slimy, <laughs> fetid ass crack up to now? There was a speech. I had some notes. I didn't necessarily refer to those in great detail, but I simply made the point that the China-Australia partnership and the China-Victoria partnership is critically important to jobs, to exports, to international education, to oh, I've heard enough! Food, wine, to every sector, really. <laughs> it's about bloody time that Azio did their ass job and investigated this treasonous, dodgy, slimy sack of human garbage. You're goddamn right. No idea. I wasn't, wasn't, wasn't my event. I was there, the Lord Mayor was there, Andrew Rob was there. <laughs> Ass goblins, there's a lot of them. Watch out for that shadow, Joe. <laughs> it's time for this hair sniffing. Filthy, disgusting old codger <laughs> to change his nappy. Oh, did you cop a whiff of that one, <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> oh, look, it's everybody's favourite <laughs> cock in a frock. <laughs> what does this unrootable freak? to say. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. <laughs> well, I guess most blokes are put off by your five o'clock shadow. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. <laughs> Silence! I've had just about enough from this non-binary trans cabbage head <laughs> with the stapled on hair! Alive, it's alive! It's alive! Thank, thanks very much, Minister. Look, just to summarise, we're seeing COVID influenza and RSV are still circulating in the community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! It's the return of the mole woman! COVID spread remains high in the community. Oh, well, thanks for the information, love. But I'm just going to add some more garlic to my lasagna. And I just want to remind the community members, please look at our weekly report. <laughs> Silence! I've heard enough from you and your mole. Take this quarter. Go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. Good God, man! It's everybody's favourite <laughs> nutless!
Thomas, the moon-headed unit. And let's see how our tax dollars are being spent. So I absolutely aimed higher. Fantastic. Unfortunately, turns out I have terrible aim. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I was looking for supermarket work mainly. What, did you want to be the, the voice of the beep? Beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> I reckon Dave Hughes is wondering how in the hell did this talentless moon-headed knob get this freeloading taxpayer-funded gig? Well, that must have been awful. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> now get this cone-headed cockhead the hell out of my sight! <laughs> Thanks! Love you! <laughs> and thanks to you, <laughs> magnificent <laughs> bastards, and your loyal support! On this program, we trawl the ABC archives to catch glimpses the past lives of our guests. it? I'm right to start. <laughs> With so many people looking to find just one house to live in, how can we continue to subsidise investment properties through negative gearing? <laughs> well, why don't we ask the Minister for I bought every bloody house in Australia! How has the Albanese Labor government delivered on its key commitment to establish a national anti-corruption commission? <laughs> they haven't! They've just made it easy for greedy fat asses like you to buy as many properties as you bloody well feel like! Isn't that right, Richard? With so many people looking to find just one house to live in... <laughs> Have fun living in your car! <laughs> now you, you fat ass, and your seven properties can sit the hell down and get the hell out of my sight! Cheaper electricity! One of the real problems of working and walking around wetland areas like this at this time of year are these little fellows here. Leeches. You get them all through this country here, or on get out. That's just not fair. Bruce Springsteen! <laughs> <laughs>